Hello world, it's your main man Uncle Hodge here, back with another video for the Meathead Marksman channel. It has been pissing down with rain for a good long while, which is much better than the drought we had before this, but it also stops me from doing outside stuff, so all of the uh, fun shooting videos will have to wait until next week, and uh, I guess we'll just put some b-roll in there and keep you happy that way. <laughs> As you can probably tell, I got a rad new little camera. Look at him, little cannon. Shoots quite nice 1080. So uh, yeah, I wanted to use it for this uh, this video, but my little video mic, me, is the wrong input. So I can only use the uh, inbuilt microphone and it sounds like straight up trash. So we'll start using this for vloggy type stuff when uh, when my new microphone gets here. But uh, for now, coffee and Streloc Pro. Alright, so download the app, open them up. What we come up to now is a set of data that is inputted in there by old mate Boris, the dude who programs it. And we need to replace that with our data. So we'll click on this box here in the middle first, where it says replace with your data. Click. And then we are going to replace this information with the rifle that we're shooting fx crown 0.25 sweet next now we're going to select our scope which is this button here click on that one uh, we're going to first of all put it in mrad because that's what our scope is and then open up the list of scopes. Now it sort of looks like you can't go up. This had me confused at the start, but basically you can scroll down or you can scroll up and it has many hundreds of bajillions of scopes. And being that I am using my crown and it's an air gun and I have my Optizan 6 to 24 by 50 on there. I'm just gonna keep scrolling up until we find that one. This is one of the great things about Streloc Pro. There is just so much usability. Optizan Optics. Here we go. 6 to 24 by 50, first focal plane, Optizan Optics. Wonderful. Uh, reticle is first focal plane. We're going to go in MRADS. Set our zero distance for what we're zeroed for, which in this case is 20 meters for my quiet tune. The scope height is actually five centimeters. I'm going to click on here, input our correct 0.1 MRAD adjustments, like so. All right. All right. So now it knows our scope set up. We're going to go and tell it what we're shooting. So click on this next box down. Scroll down to the bottom, cartridges database, select your caliber, which in this case is 25 air. The vendor is who makes the ammo that you're shooting, JSB, and we're going to use the King Heavy Exact Mark II. Yes, there we go. Now you have to have done your homework and know what your bullet speed feet per second is, so get on your crony and sort that out. I know for my quiet tune, it's going to be 717 at 25 degrees Celsius. Done. Then you're going to click generate a second pair. And now it has its temperature sensitivity factor. So it just needs that to know for calculations later on. Okay. Now I'm going to rename this because this is my quiet tune. So JSB 
King, Heavy, Mark II, at Power 3. Done. And we're done. Okay. Next, we are going to put our twist rate in. FX tw crown smooth twist X. Initial liner that you get with the gun is a 1 in 30. So put 30 in there. Happy days. Right, so that's our quiet tune done. Now, we're going to go back into this one that we just did. Up the top where it says change cartridge, we're going to click on that and we're going to add another one. This gives us the second cartridge to use, so we'll go down the bottom again, cartridges, King Heavy Mark II, should be right where you left it. Come up the top again, now feet per second for this one was 870 feet per second at 25 degrees, done. Generate a second pair, and then click OK. And we're going to rename this one King Heavy Mark II at Max Power. Done. Nice. Nice. Save that one. So, now we have two options. Basically what we're going to do now is change the zero offset. So I'm going to go back to my zero offset here, change that to MRAD, and for argument's sake, we'll just say it's 3 MRAD higher at 20 meters than my quiet tune. Done. Obviously you will be either using MOA or MRAD, whatever takes your fancy, but basically this is where uh, Strelock allows you to use more than one cartridge on the same zero. So if you had a 22 that likes quiet ammunition, but then you're going to go out bunny hunting, you can tool it up with uh, your next ammo, and you don't have to change your scope. It will just all you have to do is know how far up, down, left, or right it is of the zero, and it will calculate everything else for you. It will give you perfect hold off data. Okay, and for that one, we're going to go to 30 as well. Now that that's all done, we're going to go down and set up our table. So we've got a little button down here that says table settings. Click on that one. So it comes looking something like that. Now, I want it to show me the bullet speed. Happy with that. I'd also like to know the bullet energy. So we'll keep that one on there. I'm going to turn MOA off and MRAD on. MOA off and MRAD on again so that my windage and elevation are both in MRAD because that's what my scope's in. And now I am going to set my start distance at 5 meters, my end distance at 200 meters, and my step distance at 5 meter intervals. And then click done. So Basically what that, why I use such low numbers there is because I'm not shooting out past 200 meters with my air rifle anyway. So it allows you to scale the table to look uh, usable basically. And you can pick your information that you want in it here. Maybe you want to know flight time just for giggles. I don't know why you would, but yeah, something to note. Then click OK down the bottom and off we go. We're all done. So my... FX Crown, King Heavy Mark II, comes out looking like this. So, you're going to range your target, you're going to click on this top one, input your range, say it's 65 meters for example, you come down here, say there was no wind, dead still day, done. Then you go over here and click calculate, and it gives you your exact drop. So, I'm going to be Holding low, 0.9 MRAD. Alright, so that's all done. Let's have a look at the table. This is the table icon right here where you can see my finger is. Click on that one. Brings up our nice little dope sheet. As you can see, we've got elevation and windage. 
foot pounds, bullet speed, and distance. And that goes all the way down to 200 meters there, just because that's the parameters that we set. So you can see that the, uh, just for interest's sake, out of the 100 meters, we're still making 30 foot pounds of energy. So that's not bad. Not bad for a 25. Pretty happy with that. All right, so let's say that now I go back to my uh, quiet tune because I've come home from my hunting trip out at the big farm. I'm going to click on here, do some target practice, and then I'm going to come back down to this big box in the middle here. Change my cartridge back to Mark II at power 3. Click OK. As you can see, it's remembered all of my data. Click OK again. Come down to the bottom and click close. Now, if we go 20 meters, done. There should be there should be no uh, hold off because we're zeroed for 20. Zero, 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 zero. Happy days. So it's remembered exactly what I told it, even though we haven't changed over the actual rifle yet. So we've got two different cartridges in the, under that one rifle. Now, if I was to say we've got our target ranged at 52 meters, done, calculate, it's telling me to hold 2.3. Very nice. And here's the table for my quiet tune. Tells me that we're making 38 foot pound just out the muzzle there. All the way down here at 100 meters, we're only making 21. So that's the difference between max power and power three, in case you're wondering. Still got our windage, elevation, bullet speed and distance all the way out to 200. So there's a couple of little interesting things that Strelok will do for you as well. Because we've told it which scope I've got, it also knows which reticle I've got. So if 2.3 MRAD, you're not 100% sure what that looks like in your reticle, you can click on reticle and it will tell you on your reticle where to aim. So if you've left your little reticle legend at home and you can't remember whether or not that uh, you've got those big ones, uh, one mil or two mils or three mils or half a mil or whatever, you can click on here and see exactly where you need to aim. There's a bunch of other fun stuff that this thing will do as well, but I won't get into that too much today. I don't really want to information overload you, but basically that's how I'm using Strelok Pro. And if you haven't seen inside the, the app before and you, you were a bit curious about having to spend 15 bucks or whatever it is to get the app, uh, this is, this is the, the core of what you can do with it really. And I really do think it's worth it because it's one app for all of your guns uh, and you can even shoot multiple different types of ammo through the same gun without re-zeroing the scope. It is just awesome. You can also true the algorithm that it uses by shooting a near target and shooting a far target and then uh, telling it how far out it is you, and the app will true itself. Uh, but I haven't actually had to do that yet because... The information that I gave it was good. You give it good information and it will give you out good information. Alrighty, so hopefully that uh, gives you an idea of whether or not Strelok Pro will work for you. Spoiler alert, it probably will. Uh, so that's going to wrap us up for today. Smash that like button, share this video around, helps the channel grow, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.